watching KITV4 News at 6. Two Oahu high schools teamed up today to combat invasive algae that's suffocating Waikiki's reefs. And researchers say that the fast-growing weed covers nearly 90% of the reef outside the natatorium and continues to spread. KITV4's Moani Keala Navarro reports. You can't see it above water, but invasive leather mudweed patches are choking reefs along Waikiki, killing coral, native limu, and changing the marine environment completely. 60 students from Kaiser and Roosevelt High Schools pitched in to slow the advancing algae. Our philosophy is to protect, preserve, and perpetuate um, our environment. And they really, really want to be here, and they're totally excited. It's actually sad, but then having to be here today is like an honor to help restore their life and then make Waikiki beautiful again. Prize limu that once thrived here is now a rare find. Researchers believe the brown alien algae came from Mauna Lua Bay, which is now choking on the invasive weed. The students not only removed algae, but used GPS technology to map locations where it is concentrated. The data they collect pinpoints trouble spots targeted for future cleanups. Other students count native sea urchins. They are natural predators that help control the marine environment by gobbling up the algae. Kaiser teacher Michelle Capana Beard says some students are interested in marine science, others simply care about Hawaii's waters. Some are just, they love the ocean, so anything they can do to help to protect it and care for it, they're all good with that. Coral researchers hope today's event makes students more aware of the serious problems caused by invasive species. When they go to the ocean and they see an alien, pick it up, take it home. Put it in your garden because it works really well with compost. Moani Ke'ala Nabarro, KITV4 News, Waikiki.